Okay, now yes, please. Let's go, Kathy. Welcome, everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hope everyone's doing well. Nice to be able to gather again. And uh, this being the first Monday of the month, it's our healing session. So as usual, a big thank you for those who come along to contribute and uh, create this healing atmosphere. Uh, and for those of you who are uh, coming to uh, feel some sense of healing coming your way, I hope it's uh, really strong for you. Um, I think the more we do this, the, uh, the stronger it gets, actually. Um, I think we're managing to create quite a nice atmosphere. Uh, and having been through similar things at, uh, decades ago, um, to have that support, I, I hope it really helps carry you through the week uh, and add um, both vitality, energy, um, support, feeling of support to your week. So I think actually what we might do is go fairly directly into the practice. Uh, and what I'd suggest is just consider uh, if you're receiving uh, healing in this session, uh, what posture you'd like to be in. Um, it is helpful to stay awake. So consider that if you're gonna lie down. Uh, although I think with this practice, if you end up going to sleep it's not such a bad thing uh, probably if you can hang in there as long as possible because <laughs> i actually um I'm, I'm not a big subscriber to the idea that uh, if you don't take these things in consciously uh, a lot happens I, I i'm I, I i know it's possible and i know um, people can be prayed for or have other healing practices done for them uh, without their knowledge that it's actually happening at a given time and and still get quite significant benefit. Uh, but for what we're doing here, uh, I would suggest to you that if, if you're um, conscious rather than in snooze land or asleep, uh, it's, it, it probably will be more useful for you because what actually happens when you're when you are awake is that the the exercise helps to mobilize your own resources so it's like you get a you get a synergistic effect uh, with the healing that's being directed towards you and then you sort of picking that up and having virtually a multiplying effect so um, a, another option to consider as far as your posture goes is to consider that you could actually um, be seated, uh, you know, be have a, an upright back for the uh, for the actual talking part of the uh, exercise, and then and then when I finish talking, uh, you might uh, like to actually lie down at that point. Uh, and depending which part of the world you're in, uh, if you like. Uh, myself on the east coast of Australia, it's sort of going into evening uh, and certainly to drift off to sleep from an exercise like this can be a very uh, nice thing to do and can actually help to, um, yeah, it can just be useful. It, it, it's, it's definitely a possibility. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll end the exercise uh, quietly uh, with that uh, sense that you can just drift off if um, uh, that's what you would feel to do. Um, so again, just consider your posture. And now if you need to adjust your posture, get your body settled. Uh, 
and just as people are getting themselves organized again a big thank you for those who are uh, contributing tonight uh, and if, if you've been to these sessions uh, a few times now uh, you might have picked up that if you're actually receiving energy actually just following along the directions for the people who are giving can actually be quite nice as well uh, in a sense the way the way we do this exercise is that um, the people who are going to be uh, generating uh, or, or sort of I don't like using the word channeling because it's got sort of difficult connotations in some circles uh, but that's basically what you're doing that in, in offering healing to others uh, it's not like you're you are actually generating that energy within yourself you're, you're drawing it from outside focusing it uh, and and then actually having it flow through you uh, and in the process of doing that it's like a self uh, purification it's like a self-healing uh, so if, if you're if you're a uh, recipient tonight uh, or today where depending on where you are uh, you, you might like to actually uh, just in a fairly gentle open sort of way uh, just listen to the words in the early part of the exercise uh, and just go along with it uh, but then actually be really open to the receiving part uh, as we come towards the, um, the main part of the exercise. So now as you do settle into your posture, um, for most people this probably is a good exercise to do with your eyes shut. It gives you a chance to focus your energy more directly inwardly. So uh, while you can do the exercise with your eyes open, if you'd prefer, uh, all thing, things being equal, it's probably a good time to just allow your eyes to close gently. And for all of us, just to take a few moments to once again, feeling our body relaxing a little. So just in your own way, allowing your body to settle. And a, a good image that might help to create that feeling is to imagine you've been out working, you know, in, a, in an office situation, in a normal work situation or in the fields, you can just imagine what it would feel like if this is something you don't do much, but just imagine you've had a, a full day of work and the things that you had in mind to do in that day you've accomplished. And now you've just arrived home. It's time to just let it let the events of the day go. To just settle into a favorite chair maybe lie down and just basically relax and let go. So very much that atmosphere of relaxing, releasing, letting go. And for those of you who are recipients for this session, just that deep sense of relaxation. And if you do want to follow the words in the next part of the exercise, you're welcome. But that just, just that sense of being open, spacious, receptive and now for those of you who are giving in this session 
Imagine as if it's in the sky above you, the highest source of power that you know. So it may be a particular spiritual figure, like Christ or Mother Mary, Buddha, spiritual leader from another tradition, whatever embodies truth, compassion, loving kindness, healing. And for some it might be more useful to imagine a more abstract image, like a ball of light, that symbolically represents those same qualities. Energy, source of energy, loving kindness, healing, compassion. And the thing is to really go into the feeling of this. So as you imagine this spiritual figure or this more abstract representation of those qualities to actually feel them. So actually imagine, feel what it would be like to be in the presence of Christ or Buddha or great spiritual leader or to come close to that source of infinite knowledge, wisdom, love and compassion. What would that actually feel like and really build that sense of connection of feeling that and as you feel that connection have the aspiration that you can draw on this energy with all its qualities for the benefit of others so for some that may take the form of prayer For others, it's just that fervent wish through this practice, maybe I may I be able to help other people in need. And as you hold that strong wish and direct it to that spiritual figure or the more abstract ball of light. It's like you, you, you notice, you feel a response. And whether it's the figure or the ball of light, it's like they, they start to glow more intensively with light. So the figure becomes almost like a figure of light almost like a hologram, sort of shimmering, translucent. And the ball of light, like a intense sun, but not like the sense that it's solid. It's just light filled, like dense, bright light. Intense. And then also in response, your deep wish. A beam of light shines out towards you. Coming from the very heart of the figure or from the very center of the ball of light. And it flows down towards you. Almost like a liquid vapor of light. So it's like a stream, but not water of light. 
It's almost got the properties of being like a waterfall or a shower, but it's just flowing down all around you. And as you breathe in next, imagine you're breathing in that gentle, warm, healing light. And aim to feel it flowing out through your chest, through your lungs. This pure, fairly intense but genteel, warm white light. And as you breathe out, it's like you expel, it's like you release, like you let go of anything that's old or worn, not well, anything you want to be free of. So it's like a big inner cleansing. You breathe in. Each time you breathe in, it's like you're breathing in more of this pure white light. And each time you breathe out, it's like you're releasing the remnants of anything you want to be free of. And sometimes it may be this light changes color for you, sort of spontaneously. And that's fine, whichever color uh, it turns out to be. But if you maintain that sense of it being a white light, again, each time you breathe in, drawing in more of that white light, so it's actually flying all out through your chest and your lungs, filling them. And it can be a bit like having been in a dark room where you turn a bright light on. It's like any darkness just disappears courtesy of the bright white light. So again, it's like a purification all through your chest. And then as you breathe out next time, with your breath and with your intention, direct the light with the out breath down into the lower parts of your body, down through your tummy, lower back, around the hips, through the pelvis, and down through the legs, right down to the feet. And imagine your body to be a bit like a vase, a vessel, a vase that as you breathe out, this white light just flows down into the bottom of that vessel and then gradually begins to fill. So with each new breath in, you're drawing in more of this pure white light from that infinite source, that source of loving kindness, wisdom, compassion, healing. You feel its warmth, its vitality. And then as you breathe out, it's like it just flows naturally down through your body, your torso, filling your legs, up through your tummy, your chest. And then next time you breathe out, you can imagine this white light flowing down across, out across your shoulders and down through the arms. And again, the same thing. It's like your skin is like the container. And this white light flows right down through your fingertips, fills your fingers, your hands, your wrists, up through the forearms and upper arms. And again, as you continue to breathe in, you breathe in more of this pure white light. And now as you breathe out with your body filled, the white light's directed up through your neck, to your head, so that the whole body's actually filled with this warm, translucent white light.
and just a few more breaths in and out as you draw in more of this white light and really get the sense of your body being filled, glowing, warm. And then with the next out breath, imagine somebody in front of you that you know who's in need of help at the moment. Might be physical, mental, spiritual, somebody that you know who's in need. And imagine as you breathe out that this white light flows from that area around your own heart. And again, like a searchlight, like a beam of white light flows across to this other person's chest, into their chest, round their heart. And from there radiates out through their body. So with a number of in-breaths and out-breaths, drawing in more of this pure white light, having that sense of your own body being filled. And then as you breathe out, that that white light flowing to this person you know that's in need and filling their body in the same fashion. And have some sense of what it feels like for the other person to feel this loving kindness, this warmth, this vitality, this healing energy flowing into them. And now as you breathe in again, breathing in more of that translucent white light and breathe out. Imagine the other people in our session today. And imagine that white light flowing out to each and every one in need. And be reminded that you're drawing on an infinite source. So there's plenty to go around. So it's almost like initiating a network with white light flowing into you, flowing through you, and then flowing out through all these different, almost like tendrils to the hearts of the other people in need, and steadily filling their body with this same warm, translucent white light, this flow of healing energy, vitality, loving kindness. having that clear sense of this light flowing through you, coming from that infinite source. And having the good fortune to be able to direct it to these other people. Along with the wish that they may feel this healing energy, feel its benefit. derive some real benefit from this practice. And now, if you like, as you 
Continue to breathe in and consciously again draw in more of this white light. You might like to imagine this white light flowing out into the buildings around you. And of course, to the people within those buildings, the people within your local community. <clears throat> And have that real sense of goodness that flows with this. We often wish good for other people. So this is a way we can actually visualize it. This is a way we can actually have a direct influence. So breathing in more of that white light, feeling it flowing all through us and then having that sense of that white light flowing out to our local communities. A source of good, a source of loving kindness, healthy vitality, healing where it's needed, wisdom, passion, all those positive values we'd wish for our community. And imagine it flowing out in the form of this white light and being felt far and wide. And as we continue to do this practice, you can imagine that white light going beyond your immediate local community into the wider community. Perhaps flowing out across town to bigger area to live in, a city. Across the wider area, maybe the state you live in. country, flowing out right around the world so that you can imagine that sphere that the world is, the world we live on, the sphere that we live on, all being held and glowing in this pure white light and remembering how we are drawing on an infinite source. So imagining it flowing out right across the land, right across the seas, right around the planet. Bring a sense of solace to those in need. Maybe a moment's relief for those in distress, going through difficult times, sense of support, sense of connection. And then the feeling, with those feelings in mind, Tapping into those feelings. Just drop the exercise and stay with the feeling. Those feelings of loving kindness, vitality, healing, flowing. kindness and connection. And just resting with those feelings now.
feeling it all through. Through the body and the mind. Just going with it. Going with it. More and more. Deeper, deeper, just simply letting go. Relaxing, releasing. Feeling it all through. Just simply letting go. Quite effortlessly. Effortlessly. Just simply letting go. Resting quietly now.
So you might like to just stay with the feeling of this in a few moments we'll just close the link but if you just want to stay on resting in the feeling of this more than welcome and otherwise we'll see you next week. <laughs>